Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about permanent and induced magnets. We'll look at an example of an induced magnet and then we'll finish with a summary. So we're going to talk about the difference between permanent magnets and induced magnets. And the definition for permanent magnets might sound a bit strange until you see what an induced magnet is. So a permanent magnet is something which is always a magnet. A classic example would be something like magnetised iron. And these permanent magnets show up in a couple of different uh, everyday situations. So for example, the magnets on a fridge, like these magnets here, are permanent magnets. They always have a magnetic field. The magnet on the needle of a compass is also a permanent magnet. In other words, it always creates its own magnetic field. Okay, so we now know that a permanent magnet is something which always has a magnetic field around it. For example, a normal bar magnet always has this magnetic field around it. We said that there were two types of magnets, permanent and induced. So let's talk about induced magnets now. An induced magnet is a material which becomes a magnet when it is put in a magnetic field. So when an induced magnet is not in a magnetic field, it just seems like a normal everyday object. But then if we put it in a magnetic field, such as the magnetic field created by a bar magnet, then it will become a magnet. We call it an induced magnet because its magnetism is being induced by another magnetic field. Now a good example of an induced magnet would be a normal block of iron. So here is our standard block of iron. And this block is currently totally normal. This block has no magnetic field around it. But when it's put near a bar magnet, it develops a north and south pole. And something important that's worth noticing here is that the north and south pole that this block of iron has developed is going to cause the two magnets to be attracted to each other. So the induced magnet is never repelled from the magnet that creates it. It's always attracted. So the iron bar is attracted to the bar magnet. And the total magnetic field created looks just like the magnetic field due to two bar magnets. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCSE physics and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the SnapRevise smiley face and together let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.